So this is literally first morning stepping outside. It's light out, yay! And we are in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. We're Never in, heard of it? If you haven't, you can watch our videos and they'll probably make you want to come because from what little we've seen so far, it looks amazing. We're hugging Rackle. We sold our house, we sold our cars, and we sold all of our stuff. So we could travel the world full time. While working full time. We are just average people who have always wanted to see the world. Come follow along while we listen to the greatest hits. So we're gonna go explore some because that's what we do. So we're gonna wander. Want it. Join Should us. Should we go that way? As we wander. Or that way. Yeah, you pick. We went that way for dinner last night for about five minutes. So maybe that way because we haven't gone that way yet. So. There you go. We'll see. So outside our door, we found a coffee machine. We always like to try <clears throat> these everywhere we go. They've really all been really good. Quality, They're so. all very inexpensive. And they have very different choices. There's like 12 choices on here. There's even soup in there. Yeah, there's soup. So we're going right. to try this out. They give a you a stir. little stir stick and everything. We have sugar. That's really good. We honestly thought in Palermo, when we were getting 70 cents. We thought that was good. 30 cents. <laughs> That's insane. We just had to mention, because it's very random, there's a shoe. It's like a brand new <laughs> shoe. It's an expensive shoe, too. Where's the other one? So there's Where's the kid? Does there's he not have a leg on that one? There's an upset mom right now, somewhere. <laughs> if you're seeing this video... <laughs> we're so tired. <laughs> it's day number one here in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. Including tip is two dollars and fifty cents a piece yep five minutes from our house i could come up here and sit every single day and look at this yeah this is where we're sitting <laughs> we're kind of liking blob dip so far <laughs> and it's just three or four hours into the first day five us dollars total okay. for the two of us to get in ever in the area worth five bucks for two of you yeah before we wander around in here just have to reiterate, this is one of our favorite things to do is come in a place like this and just wander around. Explore. We love it. This place is pretty great. I know that you think we would get tired of stadiums and this kind of thing. We no. don't. Even though they're similar, they're all different and they all have things that have survived that others don't. So that I think that's one of the things I find interesting. I mean, this one has statues up top. They still have their heads and that is not normal at all. They, they all lose their heads. It's so much still intact. It's, it's amazing. I think I didn't say crazy, <laughs> Before. although it is. <laughs> It's great to be in here, but I love that after we're finished, we can go up and get some food and a drink and yep. we can sit right out there and look down cool. into it. So it's amazing. Nice. That was a lot of stairs. Look at this place. Very cool. Not as high as some of the other ones we've been to, but still, it's a lot. Stairs. <laughs> Always worth it though. Always humbled by this stuff. Always think about how many people sat here before I did. I mean, it's old. So there's Hugh. This place is amazing. Yep. Love it. Crazy. So it's. Rachel's word, crazy. And it, it, it applies to just about everything. We haven't been here at night yet. This is pretty cool. We love this place during the day. <laughs> just as cool at night. It's amazing. It does not count. So far everywhere though, the streets, the pedestrian streets, all of the different little areas are just really pretty at night. Uh, they've got everything really well lit. The little ruins in the middle of the pedestrian street are all lit up nice and mm. it's just cool. They did a great job. We're in the pedestrian 
streets right here where uh, right down about a block the cars are running but everywhere past this point it's all pedestrian and super nice. This is uh, an ancient stadium from between the 1st and 4th century AD in Philippopolis. Uh, this is just going to be the end of it, but it's right here in the middle of the pedestrian street in the heart of Plovdiv. Really amazing. used to seat 30,000 people and you can just wander through here anytime you want. To me that's one of the things that makes this place really special. So one of the cool things about visiting the ancient stadium of Philippopolis, or at least what's left of it, is that up above you can get coffee, food, whatever you want. There's this cool little cafe restaurant that looks down on the little stadium. How's that for a view? <laughs> it, it doesn't get much better. Where do you think we are? Huh? We're at H&M. <laughs> That's right. H&M. <laughs> under the H&M store. It was just so fun. Here is some more of the stadium, farther down the street. Come out the door, H&M basement. This is a little surreal. Surreal, but, um, but nice. There's the shopping right up there. So as we sit down here under the H&M store in part of the ancient stadium of Philippopolis, this is our view if we look up. <laughs> stories and stories. What is that? Four stories of the H&M store. <laughs> it's the weirdest and coolest thing ever. And they've got this nice floor. You can see right through it. The details. Mm -hmm. This is definitely the most bizarre experience that I've ever had looking at ancient ruins. Exactly are we in the stadium? They have a nice picture here. It shows you where we are. So that's the part we were in before, and now we're underneath the H&M building over here. It's a few minutes walk from one to the other. This is halfway down the length of the stadium. So this is a pretty massive stadium. As we sit here and are sitting on the benches of the stadium, thinking about the fact that this stretches all the way under all the shops down the main pedestrian street for, I don't even know how many meters, but it's quite a way. We're only halfway and we're probably a five minute walk from the first place. It's like I was saying the other day about there being an entire city underneath the city that's here, which obviously, you know, that makes sense, but it kind of makes me sad that it's all buried down under there. Can't see the rest of it. We're watching the eastern gate of Philippopolis being excavated so cool. the other day because we just happened upon the like the, it's walled off, but there was one door of it was open in the construction site and the excavation site, and so we hopped through and looked around and took some video. It's amazing seeing this stuff 
that's mixed in with the main place, but also that's still being excavated. It's not done. The um, one that he's talking about, I think, is the only one that we've seen that they're in the midst of excavating. All the other ones that we've seen have been finished years ago, which obviously, I'm not complaining, it's very cool, but it yeah. was very interesting to see the excavation process, which I thought was a little weird because, you know, you have these big jackhammers going. I'm like, oh my gosh, that seems a little crazy, but I guess you got to get down to the nitty gritty. It makes me wonder in 10 or 15 years, come back again, mm. are we going to find what else? new things that have been uncovered here of history layered under this area? It just depends on the next thing as they uncover. Well, we will definitely be back at some point because this is so far our favorite place. So I'm sure we'll be back at least once, but it might be a while. Yeah. Give them some time to excavate some more. There you go. <laughs> so after you, you know, look at the ancient ruins under the H&M, of course you <laughs> come upstairs and do a little shopping. Oh yeah. So yesterday it was like low 70s and <laughs> we were sweating like pigs walking around. <laughs> we should have saved our heavy walking for today because it's 43 degrees right now. Hence the hat and the little gloves and the scarf. It's just crazy. It was so warm yesterday. And it's windy. $37. <laughs> so we're sitting on our balcony and now it's just bright blue. Look at that. Oh, there are some clouds that way, but not dark rainy type clouds. I just love this view. One of the things I love about this pedestrian street that goes on forever, you just keep walking and you end up here. Have I mentioned that I love this place? What's left of this wall down here? Civil Basilica Colonnade. like a column area over there is going to be a library. This place is pretty amazing. Ruins that are completely free, open park atmosphere. You just walk in one side, walk out the other. It's wide open to the public and everyone to just enjoy. It's beautiful. shops that way. North premises is all that back there. This is the street. It used to be the main street <laughs> for pedestrians and whatnot coming around this area. Lived here, shopped here. Went to the library here. So crazy. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> Why are we such suckers? Why are we suckers for ruins like this? I don't get it. Uh, what is it about ruins? Very old, and where we're from has nothing even remotely this old. Yeah, that's true. I guess that's I it. I mean, a couple hundred years is all we got. I really enjoyed Rome. I really enjoyed the, all the stuff we saw in um, Turkey. I love the fact that this is just a free park area, which means that as often as we <laughs> want, we can wander through here as many times as we want. A lot of these places, they have lights installed all over. So this might be cool at night too. Yeah, absolutely. is amazing. If you're ever in Bulgaria, Plovdiv is a must stop at least for a couple of days. Mm -hmm.